Take care, GJ. Penny Stone loves playing outside with her two boys. Hey, father. But lately, it's been tough. There is that edge all the time. Do we have second thoughts about coming to the park? Yeah. In the last month and a half, there have been seven reports of men exposing themselves near schools. The latest this morning near Chief South High School when a 17 year old student caught a man in the act. She was about two blocks away from the school. She passed a van. Uh, it was parked on the side of the street. As she walked past the van, she looked inside, saw a man. He was masturbating. She immediately uh, ran to school, ran uh, right to the principal's office, reported it. The principal called police and they arrested the man who was still parked in the same spot. It's scary because, I mean, I come like walking and I never expect anybody like around the school, you know, to just be doing sexual stuff. That's not right. It makes me feel like. I'm not safe walking the streets. Like, there's people in the car watching me walk, touching themselves. BL. No. Unacceptable. Police aren't sure yet if the man who was in this van is connected to any of the other recent flashings in West Seattle, but the arrest is good news for the neighborhood. It makes you feel better, but, um, and that I think we're on it, but it still doesn't really calm my fears as far as my boys growing up here. Just yesterday, police responded to a possible child abduction near Gatewood Elementary. At this point, detectives believe that was a false report, but with Halloween right around the corner, they stress it's important for parents and kids to be extra vigilant. Pay attention, um, keep an eye on your kids. If the kids are older, um, you know, have, you know, have that, that conversation with them about, uh, you know, what to report. Um, and um, like I said this morning, um, this, this girl did uh, absolutely the right thing. So the question remains, is the man arrested this morning, the serial West Seattle flasher? Now, as far as his race and age, that description is matching up with some previous reports of a white man in his 30s, but the vehicle is not. Again, this morning you saw that blue minivan. In three of the previous incidents, uh, the children reported seeing a man in a four-door black sedan with body damage to that vehicle, a man inside wearing no pants. So we don't know if the man today, if he's been in two separate vehicles, Vehicles, or if this is a totally different person, but again, police are very relieved they do have one person in custody tonight. Well